This video is gonna be about the variable valve timing solenoids from this Mercedes W177. So I'm gonna show you the voltage values at the connector you need to see so you can check the same thing on your car and compare the values. So the valve timing can be modified by these two solenoids. We've got one here and one back there. So for example, the computer can choose that the intake valve should stay open for longer in order to get more air in. In the situation when you activate the turbocharger, it will basically shift the valve lobes. And as you can see, we've got here six wires. Therefore, this is not just a solenoid, but is also a position sensor because you need to find the correct moment when you want to change the lobes and we've got the same thing on the exhaust side obviously if you control the intake you have to control as well the exhaust let's go ahead and check the voltage values first to do that i'm gonna have the car battery on charge because i will have to keep the ignition on right i've got the ignition on now let me first check if i can see anything on the live data okay so there is no direct data feed which will indicate if this solenoid works for example so let's connect the negative side of the voltmeter on the ground and let's see what voltage we're gonna find i'm gonna start with the first wire from the right we've got 12 volts the second one nothing let's see the middle one 0.02 volts let's see this one 5 volts now let's see the fifth wire we've got 12 volts again and let's see the last wire from the left we've got 12.5 volts now the question is what voltage we're gonna find when i take out the connector so let's pull this safety so we're gonna test them in exactly the same order. Let's see the first one. We've got 2.5 volts this time. Second one, 5 volts. Third one, 0.02 volts. Fourth one, 5 volts. Fifth one, 2.5 volts. And the last one, 12.5 volts. All right, so now we are connected on the exhaust solenoid. And I'm gonna start with this first wire. We've got 12.5 volts. See the second wire. And these are gonna be the values while the connector is on. We've got one volt. Let's see the third wire, 0.02 volts, 5 volts, 12.5 volts. This is on the fifth wire. And now the sixth wire, the last one from the right here, again, 12.5 volts. So yeah, we've got exactly the same values while the connector is on. First one from here, 12.5. Second one, 2.5. 5 volts, 0, 0.0 volts. Fifth one, 5 volts. And the last one is 2.5 volts. And it looks like they are both easy to be removed. For example, on this one, we've got these two bolts here where my fingers are. So let's remove this one and do a bench test on it. And from this point, I can turn off the ignition. All right, so as I said, you're gonna need an E8. And let's wiggle the solenoid out. Here it comes. So you can see these two pins here, which will basically be moved. And they will also move these lobes here. And that's how you swap the lobes. For example, bigger lobes will allow the valves to stay longer opened and therefore allow more air to enter. But this is also require more fuel. So that's why these ones are very important for the fuel economy, for the performance of the engine. Here is the part number if you need it. Let's turn the voltmeter to ohms. Okay, so it looks like we've got 0.2 ohms into these wires. These are actually numbered here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 between 1 and 2. We've got open. 1 and 3, open. 1 and 4, open. 1 and 5, 4.2 ohms. So basically 4 ohms because we have 0.2 in the wires already. 1 and 6, 2.2 ohms or 2 ohms between two and three nothing two and four nothing two and five nothing two and six nothing so between three and four nothing three and five nothing three and six nothing let's see between four and five nothing four and six nothing finally let's see between five and six 2.2 .2 ohms so these are the ohms readings you need to read on your valve solenoid now we can install it back And you're gonna need 10 newton meters. Now you know the good values you need to find when you test these valve solenoids. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Check out the playlist with more videos I made about this car. And as always, take care and have a nice day.